You find strength in the things that occupy your mind the most. So what is occupying your mind? Remember, your mind is the foundation of who you are. It is the house in which you live. So let's declutter this house. But first, please like, subscribe, and don't forget to touch that bell so that you can be notified when new videos are available. Let's get started. Hi everyone. Welcome to Mana for Thought. Today I want you to think about this. It is not only your house that can get cluttered. Your mind can become overwhelmed with things in your life that pushes you into a mental overdrive and your mind into a chaotic mess. The same way in which you clean and declutter your house, it is the same way you have to clean and declutter your mind. So how do we do that? We start by putting away or putting aside the things that weigh you down and replacing those with the things that will uplift you. Hebrew 12 verse one says, let us lay aside every weight and the sin which doth so easily beset us and let us with patience run the race that is set before us. So let us put aside the things in our life, the sin in our life that are holding us back from becoming who we are supposed to be. The things that affect us are the things that weigh us down mentally also affects us in other ways. It can affect your emotions, change your behavior, affect your thinking ability, and it will also affect your physical health. So let's stop carrying around all those thoughts that dictate to you how you're going to feel and how you're going to live. Thoughts like, I am not good enough. Nobody loves me. I am a failure. Nothing ever goes my way. Thoughts of death and suicide, thoughts of emptiness and hopelessness. Listen, the devil is like a roaring lion and he is seeking whom he may devour. And the mind is the battleground for that defeat. But you don't have to do this by yourself. So let us start replacing all those negative thoughts with positive ones like, I am loved, I am enough, I can do all things through Christ, I shall live and not die. God wants you to have a peaceful and happy life. So you don't have to carry these burdens by yourself. That's why he said this in Matthew 11, verse 28 through 30. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke upon you and learn of me, for I am meek and lonely in heart, and ye shall find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Jesus wants you to come onto him and lay aside all the weight that has been holding you back from becoming who you are supposed to be. So listen, let's put them aside. Let's lay them at the feet of the cross of Jesus and allow him to carry that for you. I'm Alison Cornelius, and thank you for joining me on Mana for 